everyone, Professor Des is here. Actually, I'm Professor Des, E. Bell. That's what my mother named me. Ha ha ha! On today's episode of Math is Fun, we're gonna be learning about this. Can you guess what it is? Ninja moves! No way, unless you count slicing numbers in half a ninja move. Now that I think about it, it is a ninja move. We're gonna slice numbers up with our math ninja skills. So with my mad ninja skills, I can teach you about fractions. Well, what is a fraction? A fraction can be described as the question, how many parts of a whole? This kind of whole? Hello? No, it's this kind of whole. As we look at a whole pizza, as we cut it up, we get fractions. All parts of this pizza, pizza would be one whole pizza. But if we start to divide it up in slices, we start to get fractions, such as if we cut this pizza into four equal pieces. We would see this fraction written as four over four. Any number over itself always equals one, one whole. But if we start to take pieces away, we get fractions, such as three fourths. That means we have three pieces remaining of the original four. Two fourths. That means we have two pieces remaining of the original four. Hey, you old whippersnappers. Back in my day, we just called two fourths two fourths. And somewhere along those lines, somebody figured out reducing. Reducing a fraction means breaking it down to the lowest it can go using its GCF. Now what does that mean again? Greenest colored flower? Greatest cup flowing? Greatest common factor! Oh, that's right. The greatest common factor is the greatest factor that divides two numbers. In our example of two fourths, the greatest common factor is two because three can't go into two. So two divided by one is one and two divided by four is two. So two fourths reduced would be one half also. Now you know. Back to our example, if we took away one piece, we would now have one fourth of the original four pieces. We can also refer to that as one quarter. Why? Here's a dollar bill. If we divide this into four, we can use the four quarters. So one quarter is the same as one fourth because it takes four quarters to equal one whole dollar. But what if we have more than four people to give pizza to, such as six? you could cut the piece into eight slices. That saved two pieces for you. How do I know? Take a look. One whole pizza. Eight slices, I give six people a slice. That'd be one eighth each. After passing out the six slices to six people, I would have two of the original eight pieces of a whole. That'd be two eighths for me. But wait, could you reduce this? Today's two vocabulary terms are numerator and denominator. Numerator is a number above the line in a fraction that indicates how many parts of the whole. Denominator is the number below the line in a fraction that is a divisor. Now it's time to build some math muscle. Let's see what happens when you have more than one fraction. How do you add and subtract fractions? It's really easy to add fractions if you have a a common, common denominator. denominator. All you do is keep the common denominator and add the numerators that are on top. Here's an example. You have three eights and you want to add another two eights. You keep the common denominator, eight, and you simply add the two numerators. So three plus two equals five. So the answer to this problem is five eighths. But what happens if you have denominators that are different? Such as one fourth plus one half. All you have to do is make it easy. Make it easy by making these have a common denominator. In this problem, the common denominator is four because four is a factor of four and two is a factor of four. For one fourth, we keep it the same. For one half, we multiply two times two to get the common denominator. So we have to times the numerator by two, also getting two. So now we have one fourth plus two fourths. And since the denominators are the same, we add the numerators. One plus two equals three. So our answer is? Three fourths. Great job, three fourths. According to my grade book here, you all get straight A's for being such smarty pants today. On the next episode of Math is Fun, 
I'm going to teach you how to multiply these crazy things called fractions. I'm Professor Desi Bell, showing you how easy math can be.